In the last few weeks, I had a lot of questions that were sent my way regarding Cubase. So I decided to, uh, to produce another Cubase tip video. And this time we're gonna look at five Cubase little secrets. Hey, what's up everyone? Chris here from Mixdown Online. Now, if this is your first time here, consider subscribing to the channel and click that notification bell so you don't miss anything. And for all of you, share and like this video. All right, so now let's jump into those Cubase little secrets. Okay, I'm gonna be working on Cubase 10 for this one. If you don't work with Cubase 10 yet, don't worry, okay? You can work with those tips on version 9, 9.5, and maybe even earlier versions than that, okay? So no worries whatsoever. All right, guys, so let's jump in. Okay, for the first little secret, I had a question. Uh, someone was asking um, how to change the color of the MIDI notes. Okay, so this is very simple. If you double click on your MIDI event, you'll see in the lower zone, if your setup is made that way, that the uh, MIDI editor is gonna be open. If you wanna just um, bring that to a full window, just click on that arrow on the right side, and now you'll be uh, on a full window. Now, to change the color of uh, those MIDI notes, by default, uh, the color will change according to the velocity level that you see at the bottom in the controller zone right here, okay, the controller lane. Uh, so the, um, um, the more you go towards the red, the higher the velocity. And the more you go towards the blue, the lower the velocity. If you wanna change that, you have to go in the toolbar on top and go to event colors. If you don't see event colors, just right click and uh, you'll see event colors in the menu. So just select it and make sure it's on the toolbar on top. Then you can click and select instead of velocity, you can select pitch, for example, and this will colorize the MIDI notes according to the notes. Okay, you can also uh, do this accor according to the channel or according to the part, okay, and so on. The pitch color is pretty cool to use and the uh, velocity is uh, very useful as well. Now, another very cool trick uh, that I have here for you guys um, is, for example, if I want to um, open more than one tab at a time on the left zone of the uh, project window, okay? By default, if you click on insert, for example, only the insert tab will open and uh, so on for the sends. Uh, EQs, chords, and everything else. Uh, if you want to open more than one, uh, for example, if I want to open my inserts and my sends, I just need to keep my finger on the control or command, okay, and click on the second one. And there you go, they're both going to be open. I can open more than two if I want to by doing the same thing. Okay, so if I want them all open, just select all the tabs, you click on all the tabs with your finger on command or control, and that's it, you know, you're gonna be, be able to open more than one tab at a time. All right, so now if you want to open uh, more than one effect at the same time, okay, for example, I have like a bunch of effects here. Actually, you know what, let me just, uh, just for the fun of it, add a few more, okay, so you get a better idea, okay? So now if I wanna open all of those effects at the same time, all at once, uh, what I need to do, uh, is to uh, keep my fingers on Alt and Shift and click on the E, Edit Channel Settings on the um, project window and all my inserted plugins are gonna open at the same time. If you wanna close them all at the same time, you have to click on the Control or Command and Shift and again on E and they're all gonna disappear. Um, you can also do the same by, uh, by using the Mix Console, okay? You keep your finger again on Alt and Shift, click on E, they're all gonna open, and on Control or Command Shift, and you click on E again, and they're all gonna shut down. Very useful if you wanna open all the inserts of one specific channel. So I had a question last week about Solo Defeat, and this is what I wanna talk to you about and actually show you what Solo Defeat is. Basically, on one track, if you click on S, you're, you're gonna solo the track. If you keep your finger on Alt and click on S, if you're in the mix console, you will see a D in orange D, which means that the track is in solo defeat. Uh, basically, 
basically that will keep the track audible. Okay, it's going to keep the track playing even if other tracks are in solo. For example, now this is a bass track and it's on solo defeat. If I click on my kick drum and I solo the kick drum, the bass is still going to play. Okay, that simple. So very useful if you always want to keep one instrument active, even if you solo some uh, uh, other tracks, this is the way to do it. You just activate Solo Defeat by clicking on Alt and click on S. If you're on your project window, you can also do the same, uh, but this time just click on Alt and Command or Control and S, because uh, for some reason, um, the Alt and Click doesn't work. You just need to add the uh, Command or Control with Alt and Click on the S, and that will solo defeat that track directly from the project window. Okay, now I'm on a bigger project right now, uh, which is a bit more complicated to use solo defeat. It's not as simple than using only audio tracks, okay? Because you need to consider the route of that channel as well for it to work. So for example, I have the fluffy pink uh, keyboard sound right here on this channel. And if I solo defeat that channel and I uh, solo my drum bus, for example, It's not gonna work. And the reason is very simple. I need to solo defeat all the tracks, like the following, especially the following um, routed track um, that uh, this channel is going to. Okay, so if I click on my channel settings window, um, and I just make sure that my uh, my show output chain is open. I'll see where that chain, what that track is going towards. Okay, so I know that the following track, that track is routed to the mix key. So I'm gonna solo defeat the mix keys, and I'm gonna be good. Okay, so that is very simple. Now, something you can do if you uh, your mix template is uh, like mine. Um, in this case, if I'm planning on using Solo Defeat a lot on single tracks, I'm just gonna Solo Defeat all my main output buses. That's it, okay? And I'm just gonna be able to use from that point, I'll be able to use Solo Defeat on uh, most of my tracks, okay? So uh, this is what you need to consider when using Solo Defeat in a big dance mix. And same for effects channel tracks. If you wanna Solo Defeat an effects channel track, you need to Solo Defeat uh, the track that is feeding that effect channel track as well, okay? So just uh, put that into consideration when using Solo Defeat, but it is a useful tool uh, that can help you out in your mix. Now, the last little secret of the day that I wanna share with you, I, I I actually spoke about this one before, I believe, and that is a question I had a couple of days ago. Um, someone was asking about uh, my top track here, the structure track that I have on top, uh, which gives me access to the structure of my song, okay? Um, so basically, it's very, very simple. I just create myself a marker track, okay, by clicking on Add Track. You go down to Marker, and I just named this one structure. Uh, but the cool thing though is I use the divide track list, okay, which is uh, what I wanna show you. It's right here, you need to click on the divide track list, okay? Uh, by clicking on the divide track list, you'll be able to uh, add some tracks uh, on, on the top uh, part of the project window. So the project window will be divided into parts. Okay, so the top part, uh, you can put all of your uh, marker tracks, for example, um, arranger tracks, chord tracks, all those types of tracks can be static on top. So this way, if you go up and down and browse through your tracks, um, that track will not move. So in my case, I always see um, the structure of my song by having my marker track on the top track list. Okay, so just click on the divide track list on top and you'll be able to, uh, to have a couple of tracks or as many tracks as you want static on top. All right, guys, so that's gonna be it for today. Before I go, I just wanna let you know that my premium Cubase course is gonna be released in two weeks, all right? Maximum two weeks. 
maybe earlier, we'll see, you know, but if you want to know, jump on the mailing list. I'm going to leave the link on top and in the description down below, all right? So I hope this video was helpful for you. If so, don't forget to share and to like. And again, if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel. All right, guys, I will see you soon.